Hi guys, welcome back to part two of the Mantis Autogyro build. Um, where have we got to so far? Well, if you remember the end of part one, this is how I left it. And I've just got the plan out and cut two more pieces that are for fitting onto the fuselage. The fuselage, so shall we have a look? I might just leave the uh, fin, it's not glued yet. Just wondering if I ought to glue it actually. Anyway, let's tip you down. What I've done, so I've got the fuselage floor. So the undercarriage fits through there at the front and that fits there at the back like that. So that's gonna go there. That's gonna glue on there. Front of the auto gyro is you can have it open. I mean, a lot of auto gyros just have the pilot's feet on pedals here, don't they? For the rudder, um, it might be rather nice to sort of form a couple of guys on the forums built a uh, sort of squarish looking. I thought it'd be rather nice to have a sort of nice streamlined front. Not quite sure how. Maybe a pop bottle. So, I've got to make those holes and then I can glue this on and glue that on. Okay, a couple of holes. I just found them in my hole box. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just push that back up a bit like that. Okay, let's turn her over, squeeze it out if it needs squeezing out. So it looks pretty good. A bit there, a bit there. Okay, steady progress guys. I've stuck that on and I've stuck that on. It's dry now. Um, next thing is I want to work on the back half and get the fin in place. I've just hinged the rudder. So next job is to get that on and it's going to go straight on right now so i'm going to use white glue this glue anyway okay when you see the glue squeezing out. I'm just going to check it for alignment, but certainly parallel, parallel with the mast post, so that's, you know, good. Let's have a look. It pays to have a different selection of pegs, you know, because there are different feet and different strengths. So if you're going to raid the old ped box, take a selection of different types. All right, we'll let that set a bit. And I'm gonna work on the um, top post and the gussets here. Get that glued in. Okay, get it in there. In she goes. Okay. Pop a peg on there. Again, it's good to see the glue squeezing out. Bit of a different build, isn't it? All variety though, guys. Good variety. Let's have a quick look at that. <laughs> Auto gyro. Good. Oh, I took the head off the Lerobo earlier on, by the way. That goes, uh, faces forward. That'll go on there. 
and then I'll drill two little holes down to mount it. Servos, obviously I need longer arms. Servos will connect up there. Quick update video guys, so I've glued together the engine mount. It's not glued on because you have to vary it, the height, depending on the centre of gravity, something like that. Anyway, it's just sitting there for the minute and I've drilled for the engine mount, motor mount. Uh, glued in that little triangular gusset there. I've oh, fitted the tail skid and there it is. I've just made a little bracket to hold the front wheel from turning. Uh, I got the idea on the plan because Richard suggested soldering a bit of brass plate uh, to a collet to act as a um, steering arm. But I figured that if I made a similar plate but screwed it down uh, to the structure, like I have done, and then if I need to make any small alterations, I can just slacken off the grub screw and uh, make the alteration. So, yeah, quite pleased with that. It's gone very nicely. Always worth keeping these little offcuts of brass, isn't it? I've stuck together all this balsa wood. It, it's obviously reasonably heavy, uh, but... I'm going to carve it all down to a nice smooth streamlined shape and then I'm going to uh, possibly cast a plastic bottle over it to see if I can get sort of top half and the bottom half perhaps. Failing that, if I can't, it doesn't work, then I'll cut it in half down the middle and hollow it all out on the nose block and make it really light. But I'd sooner make something out of plastic, so I've got to sand it to shape. To get this into the bottle, I've had to uh, cut an angle at the back there, but I think it'll still look okay. Obviously, I'm gonna have a problem with the front, but I might better put a sort of a nose cone on it or something. So we'll just see how we get on. This is the first trial. We'll see if it actually uh, works at all. Let's give it a go. Um, yeah, I think I've got to seal the back end in so as it doesn't get pushed out sideways. So I'll i shrink the back a bit and that will stop it from pushing out. That's the theory anyway. Four barrel swales, I'll just cut the plastic off and have another go. Okay, so that should stop it pushing out. Well, the, the area I really want to get right is just over the top here. So. What I'm going to concentrate on. And the sides a bit. Okay, I did release it. That is usable. If I need, needed to use that, I could. So let's do another one. This time it will come out easier. Those um, those moulded lines in the side tend to sort of disappear to a large extent. Let's cut the back off to start. We'll see how we get on. It's got it. Okay. So. Let's offer it up and this will fit so there because it hangs out over the front. Right, got to imagine this painted, but it bulges down around the bottom bit like that. And I'll probably have to put a former in there just to hold the shape a little bit. I'll cut the nose off and fit a balsa block and there's our nose cone. It's good, isn't it? I think for the amount of time I spent doing the nose block, um, it was well worth it. <laughs> little pop bottle update, guys. I've stuck a piece of balsa wood on the front 
and uh, it's not too bad and it's stiffened up the front end quite a bit so I'm going to have to flat it all back but I'm going to put a former in here it looks pretty good I like it this morning I'm going to color the bodywork a little bit uh, I'm just going to spray it with I've given it a coat of uh, sanding sealer and I'm just going to give it a coat of grey primer prior to deciding on the colour. Um, actually it's uh, New Year's Eve today. Um, I'm working, I'm going to be going into work. But um, <laughs> but uh, I've got tomorrow off. So uh, yeah, don't need to know that do you? It's angling down. I also want to spray the nose section which is finished now ready to go on so ready for spraying so what am I going to do well I'm going to fill the house with fumes which isn't going to go down too well so what I'm going to do is to open the window behind the camera I've got a desk fan here I'm going to put on and in theory I'm going to blow all of the smell out of the house and nobody mentioning no names would be any the wiser I don't know if it'll work or not we'll find out won't we okay got that done then now I'm gonna have a go at this when you prime it you can see all the imperfections so I can just put a little bit more filler in there Okay, there we are. Will that that dry? Come back to it in a minute. There we go. So I've got, got some red spray. Found some red spray. It's really nice. So I'm going to try doing the uh, cockpit cowling. Fun. Yeah. Let's crack on with the spray. <laughs> That's much more fun. Cocktail, sir. Cocktail. Harvey Wallbanger. Here's the wall. Right, let's give it a go. And I've got a little drip of water on it. <laughs> I'm going to put on the gutter or something. So nothing I can do about that now, so I have to wait for that to set. But it will have a second coat anyway, so I can sort that out then. So yeah, look at that. That's good. Pleased with that. Okay, now I'm going to do the fuselage. Oh yes. Great stuff. Cocktail, sir. We've done that one already, Cliff. Okay, let's just open the door again. Like that. It's gone on pretty well. <clears throat> It'll take a second coat, but uh, I am conscious of the weight, so we'll um, won't go too crazy. So there we are guys, it's a start. We'll leave it like that for the minute, let things set off and give it a second coat. I'm going to draw this video to a close guys. Uh, part two, it's not as advanced as I wanted. Uh, Christmas really has got in the way. However, uh, I've got the fuselage sprayed up and I've got some covering I found for the fin and tail and I've got a colour scheme in mind so I'm going to stop here and we'll make a part three to finish it off. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in part three when I've got it done. Cheers guys, thanks for watching. Looking forward to 2023 now or to gyrating <laughs> and vintage model building etc. Cheers guys.